Welcome back. Today I would like to talk about interaction effects. So it will become very interactive here. We um, already talked about um, some of these effects when we covered um, fixed effects models in the context of panel data. So in a fixed effects model I capture maybe a firm specific effect um, using dummy variables. And these dummy variables shift the regression line or the regression plane up or down for the respective um, cross-sectional unit. Now interaction effects um, operate on the intercept. So again you can have a shift of a regression line. But they can also act um, on the slope coefficient. I give you one example. So if you want to explain um, why and let's assume again we are in panel data and we have here a constant term and then we have um, a variable that explains y which I label xit and we have a normal error term with standard assumptions. Now it is quite possible that um, in your data set you have different types of cross-sectional units, maybe different types of companies. So they might belong to different groups. And this group membership might, um, might um, have an impact um, on your dependent variable y. Now how can this be modeled? The first idea of this um, model would be to um, permit a shift in the intercept. So um, how can this be achieved? Well it can be achieved by including a dummy variable which takes the value 1 if this um, um, observation is in a particular group and there is a coefficient gamma linked to the dummy variable. So if we run this model specifying a dummy variable and we see that the coefficient gamma is significantly different from 0, then gamma will tell us whether the shift is going up or down depending on the sign of it. If there is a positive relationship between y and x, we might have here an upward sloping curve. And now, because of the interaction effect, for this particular group captured by the dummy variable, you might have um, a parallel shift of this curve, maybe up. Interaction effect is an interaction between the group here captured by the dummy and other variables of your model. Yeah, so these might be interrelated to some extent. There might be a, an argument why certain types of, of cross-sectional units might have a different sensitivity to a change of x. So how do I approach that? So first I need to, um, to derive an interaction term, which is easily done just by taking my dummy times xit. Good, and now we have a modified um, model which I can write down as follows. So in here we have our gamma d, so that's the intercept shift, and then we might here have um, a delta d xit, and that's our interaction term. So after estimating the model, you could argue that um, if um, a unit belongs to d, you would have the following regression. You would have alpha plus gamma, so that would be your new intercept, plus um, beta, delta, and that would be the no new slope coefficient, xit, and the error term. Yeah, so there are two effects happening here. The intercept can change, but also the slope coefficient can change. Now let's again visualize it, and now let's have a shift in our curve. Yeah, first thing might be that our intercept might be actually down here because gamma might be negative. But then, for instance, delta might be positive, so you have a, um, a steeper slope. So you see there um, is a change in both parameters um, for this particular group. Now let us move into starter to see interaction effects in action, so to speak. We open the UK panel data set, which we have used before, and I just now open the data, and I start first by specifying firm size as um, the size variable, which depends on 
the log of total assets. So what we could do is we could distinguish between different types of companies. So one way to do this is to look at the age of a company. For instance, specify here a dummy variable. I call this old, where I look at um, incorporation and um, I label it as one if it's less or equal to 1990. The data itself goes up to 2010, just to have that in, in your mind. Let me just run that and see what happens. And now when we do a summarize command on old, you notice that um, actually a little bit more than half of uh, the companies have been established before um, 1990, which is quite astonishing for data that goes up to 2010. So there are um, quite a few older companies um, in um, the sample. Now, if we want to test whether um, being established is good for profitability, we can now incorporate this into our standard model for profitability. And we covered this in previous um, sessions. So let's start with our regression of um, return on assets on um, firm size um, and then R&D spending compared to total assets working capital compared to total assets, interest coverage and leverage. Um, and then if you want to now capture the effect of an old established business in this relationship, we could start an intercept dummy. Indeed, old companies um, perform better than um, younger ones. So being established is good in terms of profitability. So you see here a positive and a significant effect p-value is below 0 0.05, so on a 95% level of confidence, this is um, um, a coefficient significantly different from zero. Okay. The other effect now is um, maybe it interacts with firm size because we know that larger companies tend to perform better. Good. How to do this? We have to now specify our interaction term. There is another way to do this in starter using the XI command, but I find this not as, as pleasant in terms of how it is displayed. You can, in the comments below, um, ask me how this can be done. I'm happy to do another video on it. I call this old times. I use X for this um, size. So we just multiply the old dummy with the size of um, the company. And then we um, put this into the equation. So we just take our interaction term into this equation and run this all one more time. And now, as you can see, the old um, dummy, which we used before, is um, still significant, it looks slightly bigger now. So there is a big impact of being established. And now you have a very interesting um, effect on firm size. You see that here. So the in firm size without the interaction is, is significant and positive as before. The larger companies tend to have higher profitability. However, in the case of old companies, this effect is significantly diminished. Yeah, when you look at the coefficients and you start combining the coefficients, you see that it would be still slightly positive. So for older companies, the impact of firm size matters a lot less for profitability than for younger companies. Now we can also test a combined hypothesis. Um, so for both um, coefficients, whether they are jointly equal to zero. So this is our F test, basically. The F test would um, confirm our initial inside that indeed the interaction term um, is important. So there is um, evidence for a shift in the intercept, but also a change in the slope coefficient. I see you in the next one.